Hey guys, I'm Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So today I rented a three point seeder. I rented this earlier this year to overseed the pasture and today we're gonna to be overseeding our hayfield. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to make an adjustment to the front set of rollers. It's got spiked rollers on the front and back, but the, the front ones are split and you can adjust the angle. And we're gonna adjust the angle out so that they're spinning, instead of spinning straight, they're gonna be spinning at an angle. That's gonna help till the soil just slightly or disturb the soil. And hopefully that gives us some bare soil for the seed to come in contact with and improve our germination rate. So I loosened a couple bolts on here and then you can adjust the roller angle with this lever here. Well, I got the rollers sitting, I think, somewhere close to a 10 degree angle and we'll try that out. So let's go ahead, we'll head up to the cement mixer. We're gonna mix up the grass seed. Been using this to mix up feed. There's a little pig feed, little steer feed in here. So I'm shooting for about 15 pounds an acre. So I've got twice as much seed as I need. So whatever seed we end up with extra, we'll wait and see. Sometimes it's really easy to put too much on. So whatever we end up with extra on this, we'll end up putting in the other hay field. We'll just put whatever's left on it. Wow, that's a lot of seed. Put so much in there I almost it's almost coming out the front. Try our best not to waste any. Oh, I dropped some. So we're gonna go ahead and make our final adjustments. We want the front two rollers to uh, touch at the same time, preferably. I don't think that looked bad. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. So you want the back roller to compress, but you don't want it so far down that this hinge is digging into the ground. And that all looks good. So I think the rollers all look good. If they weren't right, we'd have to adjust the top link to either tilt it back or tilt it forward. But I think everything's good. So to set the, uh, the feed rate, you gotta open or close this lever and it adjusts the, the feeder gear, how much is exposed. So on Fescue, the seed chart says quarter open is 18 pounds an acre. This puts on seed very heavy. So that's close to the 15 pounds I was shooting for and that's about what I got it set at. So we'll see how it does. So 
So I went ahead and did a test run and the front rollers weren't tearing up the ground. I couldn't even notice it tearing up the ground. So I went ahead and I've angled them even more. Maybe you can see that. So, so before I think I had them angled back here and I've moved them forward another eight inches. So hopefully that'll uh, score the ground, you know, tear it up just a little bit more. Well, it is tearing into the soil a little bit better. It's hard to tell, plus with the unevenness of the ground, it's it's going to get the high spots the worst. But it does, it's very hard to tell. I mean, it's ripped. See, you can see the soil is loose. It's ripped it up. It's very minor. It's just disturbing the surface a little bit just to help give seed to soil contact. I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. So let's go ahead and seed. Everything's going pretty good. The uh, the grass, when the rollers go over the grass, it kind of lays the grass down, and you can see that difference. So you can tell where you've been, so you know where to go and not overlap accidentally. Well, we're about done with the first field. Oh man, looks like I've ran it pretty well dry on this side at least. I thought it looked like it had stopped. All right, I evened the grass seed out from both sides. We only got about two passes left and then we're done with the first field. So these seeders are hard to adjust to get a small amount of, of seed to fall. They wanna put on a lot of pounds. So that's why I bought extra just in case of something like this. So if I put 
so I didn't run out basically and if I put extra down I put it on this field and that's exactly where I wanted it to be if we got if we had some left over and we did the other field that would have just been a bonus but I think I've got enough to finish this up just got to finish these last two passes Well, at least I got accomplished what I wanted to today. I got this hay field. I got it overseeded with grass seed because this hay field's like 90% clover. It was supposed to be 90% grass and uh, it's all red clover. So hopefully all the seed that we put down on here today, it'll take about two weeks. Hopefully it'll germinate and we'll start getting some grass to come up in here. And then next spring, we'll have a lot more grass in this field than we do now. So we ended, up, we ended up putting down about 33 pounds an acre, which is about, that's closer to what you would plant if you were starting over from scratch. Like if you dissed this whole field up and you, you planted a whole brand new hay field, it would be closer to that 30 pounds an acre. And uh, so we put a lot of grass seed down. So hopefully some of it will germinate and it'll look a lot different next year. But uh, only time will tell. And uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed. So this is the second time that I've rented this cedar. So this time I definitely kind of knew how to set it up and, and get started a lot quicker. And this was only, this is only like $80 to rent for the day. And if you would buy one of these like brand new, it'd be like probably somewhere between six and $10,000 to be able to buy a cedar like that. So renting, finding a rental place that has something like this can save you so much money. So yeah, $80 for the rental. And then unfortunately that was like $200 worth of seed. So this is a $280 project plus some fuel. So we'll just say it's like $300 that we spent today trying to overseed this hay field. So um, that's another reason to keep your fingers crossed because you hate to just kind of throw that down the drain. So time will tell. We'll see whether it works out or not. Well guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and take this back to the house. I'm gonna blow the seed box out with a leaf blower, and then I'm gonna wash the mud and dirt and stuff off the rollers and everything, try to make sure I return it clean, get it loaded up on the trailer. I'll probably take it back tonight. That way I don't have to take it back in the morning. And uh, that'll pretty much finish out my day. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. I will say it has very good bearings.